Hi there, I'm Dr. Hall. I'm a gastroenterologist and uh, president of the medical staff here at Bristol Regional Medical Center. And I wanna to talk to you today about um, COVID and uh, the vaccination. We're really seeing quite a spike in the number of cases and the hospitalization rates and the death rates. Uh, you know, we're routinely seeing over 200,000 cases per day in the United States, along with uh, over uh, 2,000 deaths per day, a lot of days now. And so it just adds to the importance of um, protecting ourselves, protecting our patients, protecting our coworkers. People talk about uh, the ability of the uh, society to potentially reach herd immunity just by infections in the community. Um, but really that's not a, a good reality. Um, you're, you're talking about um, a lot of deaths and a lot of uh, sickness by reaching that supposed herd immunity. You know, when you look back at viruses over the decades, we don't really see good examples of um, the society being able to reach herd immunity in most viruses just with infections in the community alone. Um, we really have had to use vaccines to be able to reach uh, true herd immunity. Um, when you look at uh, this vaccination uh, in particular, the uh, efficacy looks very good in fact, um, with the Pfizer study, we're seeing about a 95% effectiveness for achieving immunity. And that seems to be uh, actually, uh, as far as we can tell, um, lasting over three months. And, and the hope is that it will be um, much longer lasting than that. Um, well, I think when we look at uh, the people that we work with, the people that we take care of, and then our family members, we need to think about those folks when we make a decision about uh, receiving a vaccine. It's not just about protecting ourselves, but it's about protecting those people as well.